What's up, 10 Skill Squad? In the last video, we took a look at my homemade Arma wannabe two-wheel drive <laughs> monster truck. And that thing, I think, looks really cool. It performs awesome. Wheelies for distance. Uh, that thing has got it in the bag, no problem. But, of course, we promised to take a look at it next to the actual Arma monster truck. Mm -hmm. And you saw the thumbnail. That's what we're doing. The Browns are playing. The Browns are losing. Right Probably. Now. So rather than watch them lose, uh, let's let's do monster truck stuff, shall we? Yeah, why not? impressions uh yeah Ooh, there is no, no foam no. in those no. tires at all no. zero and the rubber is very soft very supple yeah dude yeah lots of detail in the body this is printed this is not a sticker this is a sticker however yeah it's kind of it's kind of hard to see where the sticker starts and ends. No clear windows, but you know, that's Arma for you, I guess. I like the uh, molded bumper. That's a nice touch. What about the body pins? It's got those new one piece ones on it. Say what? Huh. Interesting. Yeah, oh. They're just super massive. That's kind of cool. That's, uh, I like that. What's that gonna do for mounting a new body, yeah, though? Yeah, that's gonna be... Wow, pretty trippy. long, pretty long travel. Yeah. Pretty soft suspension. All right. So it is, of course, just a normal 550 brushed motor, a brushed uh, Mega ESC Spectrum branded, uh, but you know we've oh, seen this. In. Yeah, we've seen this before. Build-in receiver ESC combo, as you would expect at this price point. Mm, yeah, and where you put the batteries in the past? Remember our granite Mega? Yeah. We had a heck of a time getting batteries to fit in well, that thing. Well, they did not make it any better for the guy at the hobby shop. No, oh, it's good. Take one battery only. Yeah. And the crazy thing, our Losi, our Losi uh, drift car, the Losi touring mm -hmm. car, the battery that they recommend you use with the car does not physically fit yeah. in the chassis. It, it so, you know, we'll see. That's just that's just Spectrum Horizon hobby mm -hmm. for you. Interesting. Interesting, dude. I I like it. It looks cool. I really like the tires. I'm excited to see how those what grip do, up, what yeah. they do. I wonder if these are the Arma 14 millimeter hexes or if they're just normal 12 millimeter hexes. They look like put... 14s. Yeah, oh, good. They definitely are. Oh, good. Thanks, Arma. Just make it really difficult to put aftermarket <laughs> wheels and tires on there, especially considering Arma is owned by Horizon Hobby, who also owns Proline. Yeah. Like, what are you thinking? Don't you want us to buy the aftermarket accessories? Mm -hmm. Why you gotta make it so difficult? Anyway, I digress. Should we put on oh, yeah. the wheelie bar? Definitely. So the wheelie bar comes with hardware. That's good. Beautiful construction. <laughs> Very similar to other Armas. Yeah, it's the same part number as other Armas do. Ah, uh, well, that would explain it. So we could definitely, definitely put a brushless motor in here. Oh, yeah. And... It's supposed to be brushless ready. And I do like how they have this little, this little um, cutout here that looks like it's the perfect dimension for a fan. So when you brushless, when you inevitably brushless swap it, you can stick a fan, a cooling <laughs> fan right here. And uh, because there isn't enough room for, like, a fan with a heat sink on the motor itself. Does that make sense? Those are 14 millimeter. Are. Oh, my gosh. Why, Arma? 
Why? Especially on like a budget spec, something or other like this, you know? Yeah, make sure those are good and tight. Don't want them blowing off at yeah. 19 mile an hour. Yeah. <laughs> it does look really cool. I like the fact that there's no exposed body clips. I think the new the new body post pin thing is cool. It will definitely make mounting aftermarket bodies a pain in the butt. Yeah. Um, but if you notice in our last video, we don't let that stop us ever. <laughs> we figured out one way or another. Um, so we'll just have to see about, we'll have to see about this. Plus, I don't think this is marketed toward the kind of person that's really going to go all out with customization. I think this is more marketed yeah. toward like, this is your first hobby grade RC experience. So for that it's probably good enough Battery fits in here. yeah we should check that out i do like the fact that you don't have to take the body off to get to the battery compartment that's pretty neat is that bad boy charged up yes it is oh nice how fast does it go we think the slipper clutch might be a little loose it doesn't want to wheelie me. Oh. oh nice well, <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cold. It might not yeah. want to stick very well. I'm going to say 23. 23? I'm going to say 21. I mean, it's not real fast. Yeah. I don't even think there was a claimed speed on the box, oh, was there? Probably not. Yeah. It just says it goes. It does go. Yeah! <laughs> oh, hey, perfect! <laughs> Survey says. 23! Hey, nice! <laughs> Tell him what he's won. And uh, oh, it's all right, yeah. I we think she'll just that is a design flaw oh. there. Ooh. There we go. Oh, good That's as new. Right. Good as new. It's like a C8 Corvette. <laughs> <laughs> so, Arma Gorgon 135 bucks, assuming you already have a battery and One, a hobby grade charger. 139. 139.99. Uh, we definitely have way more wrapped up in this bad boy and your Traxxas Stampede as mm -hmm. well. Definitely have a lot more money wrapped up in those. How does this compare to them? This is fun. It is a lot it of fun. Is, it's got a lot more go and keep going than I thought it would. Yeah, like absolutely. It, it seems like it's, by the time you realize you've pulled the trigger on a Stampede, you're already at full throttle. Right. Like, it, it what well, you should be. But, like, it's already just there and then at its limit like the second you pull the trigger this thing just keeps going and going and feels like there's more even though there's not a Trexas stampede two-wheel drive the um the ecx what is this the amp crush yeah the novelty on those wears off pretty quick this is a lot more fun to it drive is right out of the box up, sucked a whole battery through it already and i'm already ready to throw it on the charger and go play <laughs> yeah <laughs> so arma so far stock for stock this definitely has my oh boat. yeah uh that's a lot of fun is it as serious as something like this not yet but with a little <laughs> bit of work i yeah. bet it absolutely could be 23 mile an hour again of course not fast it doesn't claim to be fast it nope. doesn't need to be um 
I think that is right in the sweet spot. And a brushed system, hey man, brushed motors matter. They do. So I think we need like a couple more of these. For real. One to just keep totally stock, one to modify, and another one to modify yep. in a similar but different way I agree. as well. I completely agree with uh, that. So we like them enough that we're probably going to get a couple more. <laughs> so take that for take that mm -hmm. for what it is. Uh, anyway, let us know what you guys think down in the description below. Did you pick one up yet? Are you thinking about getting one? Uh, let me know. Are you going to keep your stock? Are you going to modify yours? What do you plan to do with yours? Are you actually going to make it do monster truck stuff and build jumps? Or are you just going to use it as a basher? Let me know down below. And... Of course, this is, if this is your first time checking out the channel, welcome. I'm glad you found out we like to do RC shenanigans like this all the time. We've got some wicked stuff mm -hmm. coming up. You're we gonna do. Stick around. All right, guys. Until next time. I'm so cold. Chug. The Browns won. The freaking Browns won. Can you believe that? It? Was that's a pretty amazing day. Chopping 49ers out here. The Browns won, and we liked a sub 200 RC. Yes. It's a good day. <laughs>